Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I will be showing you the simulation of PET production of syngas from PET. So this is my overall process for my syngas production. So we have four section, four to five section. One section is our dryer in which wet PET is dried and water is removed then we have pyrolysis then we have combustion reactor then we have gasifier and lastly we have our syn syn gas so for dryer we are using nitrogen to dry our PET and oxygen is used for the combustion and oxygen is used for the gasifier and this cyclone is used to remove the ash from our pyrolysis because we get some of the ash so ash is removed before it goes into the combustion so ash is removed over here and it is cooled down according to the standard at 30 so let's me show you what are the values and everything okay let's go to component my components are hydrogen oxygen nitrogen water carbon monoxide carbon dioxide carbon as my solid my PET which is non-conventional my ash which is non-conventional methane and ammonia okay then we will be going to method in method i am using pinkson robinson and then go to our non-conventional properties so in non-conventional properties my enthalpy for h collagen is 111 and for my ash is even one 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 okay that's it then go to your simulation so for simulation the first step the first step is your PET so you have to enter your PET properties so let's go to our mixed sorry let's go to our NC solid yeah in NC solid okay I have PET as in wet form so the PET is going at 29 Celsius pressure is 1.1 atm and my mass flow rate is 1500 kg per hour and my PET the, the data for PET I have got from one of the article so this is proxenal these data I got from the one of the article then we have alternal and safinal yeah okay and I have only PET okay so my wet PET goes into the dryer and this nitrogen is coming from my air so for my air part stream S1 so temperature is 25 pressure is 1 atm and the flow rate is 300 kg per hour and the standard percentage mass fraction of our air 21 percent oxygen and 79 percent nitrogen so there is no nc solid because we are using a conventional if non-conventional then only we use nc then it is going it is heating up at a temperature of 150 let me show you the configuration of a uh, heater so yeah the temperature is 150 and the pressure is 1 atm it means delta p is zero no pressure change okay then it is going to separator and getting separated out and going to our dryer so for dryer for dryer I am using R R stick R stock R stock reactor so my 
operating conditions are temperature as 150 and pressure as 180 m so the reaction which involved is fractional conversion is 0 0.2 PET and let me show you yeah the coefficient water coefficient like it's like all the water is being removed in my dryer there is no water being carried out okay this is my R stock so R stock and this is my stream 3 coming out of my dryer then going to my separator and from separator this one is my this one is my old vapor yeah old vapor and so this one is having nitrogen and water yeah okay so nitrogen and water is being removed so this is my dry PET which goes to my pyrolysis and in pyrolysis uh, we are like in pyrolysis the what thing happen is our large chain is breaking down into a element which means carbon hydrogen oxygen into a smaller fraction in smaller elements so and uh, by the way this one is a special fluidized bed reactor fluidized bed reactor this one complete okay in paralysis we have temperature as 270 and pressure 180 m so for our yield this is the data which i have specified for hydrogen oxygen nitrogen ash and carbon because water is completely removed so according to that you you have to calculate your basis of yield okay then from there it goes to our cyclone because we uh, as we are okay as we are getting our as we are getting our ash so ash is being removed before it goes into yeah see value is 100 I added ash as my 100 ash as my 100 so ash is ash is completely uh, removed in cyclone because it shouldn't be carried out in our combustion reactor because it has it will be having some impurities ash is an impurity so it we will we will be having in our last steam also for syn gas so before we go to combustion we have to always remove our ash so ash is being removed in the cyclone so yeah mixed ash is removed over here after ash is being removed and cooled down to 30 degree celsius so let me show you the configuration and the operating temperature is 30 and the operating pressure is 1 bar okay after the cyclone we go to our combustion we go to our combustion so from here air is getting heated up to 150 celsius from 150 is it goes to separator where nitrogen is going to our dryer and oxygen is coming to our combustion reactor so in combustion reactor the temperature is 900 celsius and the pressure is 5 bar and one more thing yeah restrict chemical equilibrium and make sure you click on this one and in restrict chemical and we have these three stichometry reactions okay these three and the three reactions okay make sure you click on your temperature approach and uh, for example in our combustion combustion reaction the temperature is high because if the temperature is too high if the temperature is above 1100 it will produce 
more carbon monoxide and less carbon dioxide and if the temperature is below 900 it will produce more carbon dioxide and less carbon monoxide so the optimum is 900 celsius because in syn gas we prefer carbon monoxide okay let's go to the next reactor okay hope you have seen all the yeah R Gibbs reactor and this is my reaction three reaction which is involved carbon reacts with oxygen to produce carbon monoxide hydrogen reacts to produce water and carbon monoxide to produce carbon dioxide so there is only one reaction which produce carbon dioxide and one carbon monoxide okay from combustion it goes to gasifier where the temperature is reaching to 1000 and pressure is 5 atm and everything is in vapor phase everything is in vapor phase because at high temperature everything is vapor and I have two reaction carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and hydrogen and from gasifier because from gasifier we are producing water that producer is that that water is reacting with our carbon mono ca carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide to produce carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide yeah so lastly is our second lastly is our cooler to reduce the temperature to 40 before it is being transferred to our se separator because it can it can damage our separator separator column at that high temperature so the temperature is 40 celsius and pressure is 5 bar and lastly to our separator 50 celsius and 5 bar Yeah, maximum attrition is 30. And then we are getting our it is to by the way it is two phase separator. So uh, in our mass fraction we are getting hydrogen, we are getting nitrogen, we are getting water, we are getting carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and small fraction of methane and ammonia <laughs> this methane and ammonia was in our PET it was starting from our wet PET so it came all the way yeah so our total mass flow was 1369 yeah this is our flow rate of our hydrogen nitrogen water carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and small fraction of ammonia and methane and this one will be having mostly water mostly water the composition will be mostly water yeah mostly it is water yeah mostly it is water and small too little fraction of hydrogen and the other compounds so this is the overall process for the production of syn gas from PET and the special reactor is used which is fluidized bed reactor so in fluidized bed reactor we have pyrolysis after pyrolysis we have cyclone for the removal of ash then combustion then gasifier and lastly the separator and yeah